This is XUX. I'm going to cover the Ford F-150 Lightning Pro, the fleet truck versus the Endurance here. We're going to go over handling, interior, exterior, and then we're going to go over some specs and compare them all. I hope you guys like the video. Let's get going. This is MXUX. I'm going to go through different segments on this video. This is a uh, from Town & Country Car Dealers. Put a link in the description. This is the first walk around of the fleet model of the Endurance. I'm sorry, of the um, Ford uh, Lightning, the Pro model. So I'm going to start and stop this. And I have the specs for the Endurance on the right here. And let's just get started. What's up guys, Mitchell Watts of Town & Country TV, and today is an epic day because I have got my hands on the new, brand new 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. I'm so excited because we're going to do a very quick, very fast walk around on this particular Lightning. The reason I'm so excited about it is because this is the Pro version, so uh, this is the work truck version. So you know, you've got the Apple, they, they call their Pro Series the high-end series. Well, Ford's doing it a little bit differently. This is designed for that Pro or who's going to be using this vehicle in their company, in their business. And so there's a lot of epic things going on on this particular vehicle. Obviously, as you can see, this is the base model because you've got uh, basically a um, and before we start, I do want to let you know, this is a very early pre-production model. Uh, not long ago, I was told this vehicle was wearing full set of camo. But nonetheless, because this is... Okay, just to go over this, uh, this is a pre-production model. Um, I believe the Endurance is farther along. We don't know how, how much of this is going to be the same here. But let's move forward a um a pro version you'll notice that it doesn't have the signature led light bar that runs across the top it's yeah, designed it to save on cost that's the reason this vehicle we starts know it at doesn't have the lights. us and as you can see it's basically just a work series on the bumper as well now i do want to showcase a couple of different things to you you do have your charging port located on this particular side of the vehicle and uh, the yeah it's, it literally is a, a base version but i'm going to show you on the inside you still get a lot of creature comforts but as you can see these are a set of michelin p275 65 18 michelin tires and they are wrapped around Okay, these are really skinny tires, and he mentions they're for rolling resistance, and they're 18 inch, and they 18 inch wheels. So endurance has 20 inch wheels, but that's because the weight is so different on these two uh, cars. Uh, but you know, uh, the Ford. This is the not the regular range battery Pro Ford. Supposedly has a 113 kilowatt uh, hour battery, and the Endurance has 109. So that's um, four kilowatts worth of weight there. Uh, but I do believe these narrow tires are going to be a problem with the uh, F-150. Uh, let's just move forward here around a very specific set of wheels. Now, we are told that these F-150 Lightning wheels are dedicated and designed specifically for aerodynamics. And these tires are actually specifically designed for low rolling resistance. And why do they do that? So that way they can See get you 300 miles of estimated range on yeah. this particular F-150 Lightning. This is the extended range version. You've got a standard range and the extended range. This is the extended range. Now you can see here, um, the standard range is uh, right here. 113 kilowatts. The extended range is 192 kilowatts. Oh my goodness. That is a really big battery. And I believe that'll uh, give a 300 miles range. Uh, and that is not very efficient. If you go by two, two miles per kilowatt hour, that should be giving them, you know, 200, 380, almost 400 miles of range and they're only getting 300. This is 113 times 2 is 220, uh, 226. So 230 they're getting out of this. I say they're going to be getting 226 out of the standard range. And by the way, he mentions later, they're not going to be selling the Pro model with the large battery. you got to upgrade to the XL. So the standard everyday Joe is not going to get this. Now this is the charge times. Um, this is the mobile charger, the 110 charger that nobody's going to use. This is the house charger. For the standard range, the charge is 10 hours. For the extended range, to get a full charge, it's 13 hours. 
but you can't get the uh, uh, extended range with this truck. So you're going to be going to this one, and it's going to take eight hours. Okay? And you do the math on this because I can't figure it out. Uh, eight hours to charge uh, on this uh, 80 amp, which is a very big, that's two 40 amp breakers. That's possibly six grade wire, six gauge wire. This is what a standard house would have. So 13 hours on a, on a standard charge station. And this is probably a standard fleet station too. So this is where they run into trouble with the extended range. Not only the cost and the, and the weight, but the charge time is long. But this 10 hour charge time is uh, pretty much uh, a co uh, comparable to the um, uh, endurance. Now where, where they're different is the endurance uh, has a much smaller uh, battery, well a smaller battery and it's a lighter vehicle board charger and that that basically allows you to charge it faster than even the normal range battery and so i think that is absolutely so cool and because it is the extended range battery you also get breakers and a charge station that come with the vehicle that way you have the ability to power your house again he's talking about this but the word is that this is not going to be available to the public on the pro model to charge your house you're going to have to upgrade to the xl model to get the big battery the uh you know 192 kilowatt battery so this is going to be a watt waster in my opinion with the vehicle so uh, bi-directional charging is basically what ford motor company is calling that you have the ability to charge your house for three days over three days on this particular vehicle and if you ration it out you can actually make that thing last 10 days on that single charge so that's great but again the word is as of today that ford is not selling this model to the public with the extended range battery so, and by the way, the price is um, $39.9 on this truck, the Pro model, um, with the regular battery. And uh, with the uh, um, government incentives and state incentives, it drops down uh, ten grand to four, uh, $29. Uh, but then uh, it goes back up. Uh, to uh, uh, 50 grand uh, with the big battery. So it's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. So uh, at this point, we can say it is cheap. The tires are smaller uh, than the uh, Endurance. Uh, the battery's bigger, but the range is less. Uh, this range is 230 on this truck. Uh, the range on the Endurance is 250 plus. And if we add uh, 10 miles, this is for the torque steering and torque vectoring to learn how the driver drives. So if we add 10 miles for that, it's got 30 miles more range, which I don't know. I think it sounds like it would be a lot to me if I had the truck. Uh, but that's where we are. Let's go forward. So I think that is absolutely so cool. Now, once again, this is a very early pre-production model, but I do want to showcase to you a couple things going on. You've already seen the wheels, that's whatever. But you have a set of independent rear suspension, which is something you've never seen in a Ford F-150 beforehand. That's what you got on this particular setup. Now, as I mentioned to you, just like in the... Okay, so this has dual motors. The uh, Endurance has four motors, true four-wheel drive. And the Endurance has a straight rear axle, which is a truck axle. This is SUV suspension. I don't think it's going to do a good job towing. Neither does Sandy Monroe. Let's move forward. That's another major difference between the two trucks. In the front, they have the, uh, the signature LED light bar on the front. Uh, for the higher trim levels, the same thing goes for the Pro model in the rear. There, it would normally be a signature LED light bar, but not so on this particular trim because it is that Pro version. Now, I think it is so cool that Ford is also incorporating the American flag and Which the Lightning logo specifically on the back as well. Well, we've got the rear bumper, but what I want to do now is the jump on the truck. inside of the vehicle and show you what you've got on the Pro Series. All right, on the inside of this particular vehicle, one would easily mistake this for an XLT of some sort. Now, this is the vinyl seating, and once again, if something... Now, he does go over the vinyl seating, which is comparable to the endurance seating. One thing he keeps stating is that this is a prototype and that this may change. So this is all subject to change. I don't know, it's a rough approximation. This is much farther behind on the development scale than the um, 
endurance. It doesn't look right compared to what comes out maybe in the next few months or what actually gets put into production. The reason for this is this is a very early pre-production model. So just keep remembering that throughout this video. But nonetheless, you have a set of uh, vinyl seating from Ford Motor Company, but it looks really nice. It actually looks more like leather than it does that traditional uh, vinyl look to it. Now, I want to call your attention to the center console here. As you can see, you do have a normal center console set up. You don't have, this one's not uh, equipped with the um, interior, uh, the interior work surface, but you do have the folding center console, which is carried over uh, into this vehicle. Well. Now, the other thing is, is I love the fact that every one of these one F-150 Lightnings, have they come with shifter. the big touch screen that you see right here. So, um, uh, yep, they left the key with me. So, <laughs> uh, don't worry, Ford. I'm not going to be driving off and stealing your new F-150 Lightning. They like the touch screen. You should give them some the time with the vehicle yeah. itself. But and notice this is that a the bigger same touch screen, touch screen that it was, I say same. It is a different version. But the very similar 12-inch touch screen that is found in the 2021 F-150 But this Larry, may not appear. Really, the XLT, the 302A and up, they don't is know. automatically in the very most base version of the F-150 Lightning. I think that it is epic that they've included that in this particular vehicle. Now let's talk a little bit about towing since I see it right there on the screen. Okay, There's a I couple just want of things to stop that... this. If you can see this right here, towing sway control on. <laughs> okay, that's because it's got SUV suspension. They got the sway control on. Also, why they have the scale, built in scale, because they do not want to overload this suspension. They can't. Uh, I think this is a tell on the performance of this truck, and it's the tell on the towing capabilities, the sway control, and also this, this onboard scale, which they're preaching as a big feature. I think this is, you know, these guys are going to overload these trucks. They're going to break the rear end. Ford's going to look at the tele telemetry or the, the saved computer data on the truck, and they're going to say, well, we look at your onboard scale here, you overloaded it. No wonder it broke. So that's my opinion. I, I think uh, Endurance wins this, especially with the fleets on the solid axle. That can help you with the range of the battery. I know that's one thing that a lot of people are concerned with. Like, ah, I'm going to drive electric vehicles. I don't know how much range I've got on the vehicle itself. So what Ford has done is they've given you the ability to actually focus in on the range, and it is a smart range detection. So they can tell you basically how many miles you're going to get on this charge based on uh, not just your, um, your how you drive, but also the temperature that it is outside, the temperature of the batteries, and also with the smart scale. So there is a scale located in the power, mega power front and also scales located in the bed of the vehicle that will automatically um, and instantly recalculate the range based on what you're doing. It so again, with the scales, double-edged sword, I think this is to protect the rear suspension, personally. It, it, I mean, the technology, this is something that should have come out years ago. Why didn't they have it before? Because they never needed it, because they had a solid rear axle. But it didn't, didn't, and you know, I just think it's fantastic that Ford has given us that ability to right now. So it's weird. The vehicle's on, and uh, yeah, nothing's running. Hey, check this out. This pre-production model only has 183,000 miles, or 183 miles on it, rather. And uh, as you um, will see here in just a second, uh, from what everybody's telling me, the acceleration feels fantastic. Note, this one does have dual climate control on both sides. Um, there is no heated seats in the vinyl and the, the base model, but you know, just keep that in mind. And then also you've got the USB-C and USB-A up front as well. I so I mean, look at this. This is this is crack. I can't believe this is the base model and you're over here rocking uh your, your apple carplay wireless apple carplay and android auto this is yeah, epic yeah. all right now let's I take a look at the back seat the endurance will do all right, this so on a smaller before the rest screen of these and, and, and drives, think, which we're going to hop into here in just i think a these back seats are up. comparable the, the seating arrangement is comparable to the endurance the vinyl mats are comparable and your vinyl seating as well as plenty of power outlets located just like a normal f-150 what i love about this setup is you're not having to sacrifice truck and truck space to have this f-150 lighting so without further ado let's go ahead and take this thing for a quick spin all right, we ready? If you are. <laughs> I am. Now this, I just want to point out. Uh, Lordstown has had the Goodyear executives drive the endurance. It's been in the hands of evaluated companies. There's all kinds of third parties have driven it. Ford will not let anyone drive this truck. Anyone but their designated drivers. I think that's a red flag. Um, now this, this, this guy here is going to show the handling. And I'll see if I can drop in a clip of, uh, uh, of uh, the Lordstown Week uh, endurance handling, which puts this handling to shame. But just to give you an idea, they're oohing and on. Looks pretty slow to me. Check it out. <laughs> uh, here's what we got here. So we know this thing's going to fly based on the numbers, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to accelerate. But the handling is super impressive in this thing. We got a lot of things working for us. We got low center of gravity. We got the batteries down there. We got the motors down there. It's evenly distributed weight, right? 
We got four wheel drive working for us. We got independent rear suspension, which we don't normally have in these trucks. So all of those put together make a very nice package as far as handling and acceleration. Um, <clears throat> and you'll see very little body roll. I mean, this thing's 6,400 pounds and I'll ask you at the end if it <laughs> felt like we just <laughs> went through there. Okay, I don't know if you heard that. Now this has got the extended range battery in it, but it's 6,400 pounds. The endurance is 4,000 pounds. So the endurance is 2,000 pounds, a ton lighter than this truck. And um, I don't know, it, with the uh, the other range battery would uh, would take that down uh, uh, quite a bit, but still, um, this thing is heavy, much heavier than the Endurance. And that's physics, and that's rolling resistance, and that's going to affect range and everything else. So I think these weights, this is, this is a Ford F-150 that was built without regard to weight at all to be strong with an electric motor strapped on it. So it's heavy, and it, and it looks heavy. Check it out. 6,400 pounds. Yeah, it's, it wears it well, though, for yeah, sure. 6,400 pounds. You guys good with a little bit of speed? I'm good with it. More speed than Standard better. range battery. Right, but the battery's not available. Ooh wee Okay. Yeah, that baby's... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not impressed. <laughs> Let's go. Hear them tires squealing. You didn't hear that on the endurance. <laughs> Listen to that. Truck, and this is the work truck? Yeah. <laughs> Those tires are just straining under that yeah, weight. Man. They're groaning. <laughs> anyway, That'd I think the endurance, you can yeah. compare the video to yourself. It's a much better right. uh, handling oh. truck than this. Oh, my goodness. See the wow. sway? And they're getting a lot. I, I think there's body yeah. roll there. So how about your job? They're, they're scrubbing the tires, <laughs> screaming. It's like a Star Trek <laughs> Hutch episode. Man, that Where is they awesome. Going? Thank you so much for Absolutely. And there you have it. That is our very first look at the Pro Series of the new Ford F-150 Lightning. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're feeling like being awesome, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Huge thanks to Ford Motor Company for having us at this event and also giving me dedicated time with the vehicle. I very, very much appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace. Okay, I just want to show this uh, information. Uh, they were very happy with the, uh, with the way this truck uh, performed. Uh, this is uh, th this is town and country, um, and uh, they do a they do a lot of uh, of great stuff. This guy's a great presenter, and uh, anyway, uh, let's see if we can give him his drop to Mitchell S. Watts. He's great, and he does the regular F one hundred and fifty here too. Anyway, I just wanted to go over that, and I'm going to recap here in a minute. Okay, this is MXUX. I'm going to try to run these side by side without the sound. This is the handling of the two trucks, and uh, they're raring to go here. Let's hold back a little bit. They're talking about the 6,300-pound weight of this truck on those tiny tires. And uh, come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's get this thing on the road. Hey. Jeez, a wheeze. Blabber, blabber. All right. Let's try and move this ahead a little bit. Okay, now they're going to... All right, there they go. Now, wait a minute. Let's just see. We got him in the slalom there. Now, let's get the uh, Lordstown <coughs> truck in the slalom here. There's that Lordstown dash, which I like a lot better, actually. I think it makes for a more modern and cooler, cleaner truck interior with more visual space. And uh, let's see here. I think they're going in a straight line now. All right, there they go. They're 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 turning. And you see, I don't know if you can tell here, but. There, the, there they are side by side going through a slalom. I think that uh, the Ford driver is struggling, <laughs> seems to be struggling a little bit there to move that thing around. Let's just pause it a second. Let's see if we can move the Lordstown ahead a little bit till it, where it's going through its paces. 
And, uh, okay. All right. Now, I think this demonstrates it fairly well. All right, let's hit this guy. And let's hit this guy. Now, you see the Lord Sun, you see how much smoother it is. And uh, I think it's better. I think this guy on the left is uh, that truck swaying and everything. I, I, I think the Lordstown has better better performance. I think the guy's having less problems uh, steering. And um, let's see if we could replay that a little bit. They don't really, they don't really go on very long with the old uh, Ford. Let's, we got a chance to see the endurance. Let's see if we can. Uh, there you go. See him? He's, he's not having such a good time. Pops there with the old steering wheel. He's kind of, he ain't really throwing that truck around. He's being kind of careful and, kind of taking it nice and slow. The endurance is like. Uh, Hey, let's go for a roller coaster ride. See what I'm saying? See how much, see how much smoother. See, that's in my opinion. Okay, and why, why beat a dead duck here? Let me know in the comments what you think. I think the endurance is uh, is a better handling vehicle. I think that this kind of shows it. Let's let it play out a little bit here. See, the endurance is just. Hi, this is MXUX. I hope you guys like the video. I think uh, the uh, Endurance is going to be the only available EV pickup uh, for fleets next year. I don't think the Ford F-150 is ready. I think overall the Endurance is a better truck. Even with the large price difference, I think once these fleet managers get their spreadsheets out and start plugging in numbers, they're going to see the Endurance is the better choice. And uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you could, please subscribe, hit a like, make a comment. I hate asking for this stuff, but uh, I got to get support if I'm going to uh, continue doing these videos. Because guess what? There, are, there ain't a lot of Lordstown, uh, there ain't a lot of the Lordstown Army out there just yet. We're coming on strong, but uh, I got to get the word out. All right. Thanks, guys.